Fly Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk. Today, I'm going to tie you one of my favorite flies for summer fly fishing, and it's called the Damsel in Distress. This is an, a damsel fly nymph that's emerging, and so I don't put any weight on this fly. Because typically I fish it uh, with a strike indicator, long leaders, or with no strike indicator, and stripping it very slow on the surface with floating line. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some uh, strung marabou, and I'm just going to grab a clump of this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these end pieces right here just get a nice little clump of them and I like my tail to be about a just longer than the gap of the hook and in order to keep taper, I tie it all the way to the front. The reason why I like marabou on this tail is it does give it a little bit of movement, especially when we have some current. Damselflies don't really have a big fluffy tail, it's pretty sleek. And so, by using the marabou, I can get a little bit of wiggle, wiggle on this fly. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie some black monocord. I leave it on the bobbin. And what I do, you can see, is I just drape my bobbin over my rotary vise, like so. And we have our monocord there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some ostrich hurl. This is olive. And I'm just going to get two strands. Like so we're going to just tie that in, keeping our taper. So, all right, and now we're going to get some olive V rib, and V rib has a round edge and a flat edge, and so we're going to tie the flat edge facing me on the side of the hook. behind it to help start it. Okay, and then we'll simply start wrapping our V-rib. Just like so. Okay, and so tie that off. I'm actually going to whip finish my olive thread that I started with. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black thread that's already tied mm -hmm. in and I'm going to bend my ostrich hurl. across the back of the fly and I'm going to wrap my thread in between 
each section of the V-rib. Now damselflies don't have legs going down their body, but what this does is when it's in the water, it just gives this fly more movement. And damselflies are very wiggly in the water. And the other day we weren't catching any fish, so I put on a fish or a fly like this, this style, and lo and behold, we started slaying the fish. So ostrich hurl is nice and um, fluffy, so when it gets in water it, it articulates and moves. So that's why I like to use it on damselflies. Okay, so now we're at this point. Now this fly, we're making it in a merger, and you can use um, like Hemingway's wings. Um, other types of wind, wing material, the spark of wing material. Today I'm going to just use a Ziploc bag just to show you how I do that. Um, if you want to use a freezer Ziploc bag because they're a little thicker, the plastic is. And what you do is you get some curved scissors like this and you cut the bag. once this way and then the second time this way and what I do is I simply tie it on top of the fly I'm going to do two wings you can either do two or one I typically like two, just because it gives a little better look. Like so. that all right now what we're going to do is we're going to get a goose by it and this is olive I'm going to cut two of these off Rotary vice is nice because you can spin it so you can make sure you get your lengths even. As you can see I've got one bite here and one here. So I ended up getting a little. Okay, and then what I'm going to do. So I'm going to bend it, get some tweezers, and I'm going to crimp that leg so it kind of goes forward. So you can see I've got my legs that are bent forward. 
thing what we're going to do is I'm going to get my ostrich turtle again. Two pieces. Oh wait, no, I'm going to get my pheasant tail, sorry. Just a clump of pheasant tail. Cut off about a quarter inch piece. Quarter inches wide. By the way, we're tying this on a size 8 hook today. Oops. Okay, now we'll get our ostrich turtle. And all I'm going to do is give it about two wraps. And then I'm going to get my goose biots again. Okay, and then this one. Just simply wrap our pheasant tail down over. Cut off our excess. And then I'm going to get just some little mono eyes. What I do is just a figure eight, like so. Okay, now once we're to that point, get a whip finisher. Okay, now what we do is we're going to fix our legs one last time. You can actually do a couple bends in the legs, depending 
on the look that you're after. Okay, now once we get our legs all cool looking, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some UV glue and I'm going to put it right on top, going back over my wings just a little bit, and I let it kind of soak down onto the legs so that I get a Nice hard casing on that fly. So that, my friends, is the damsel in distress. It's a damselfly emerger nymph. Works amazing. Super realistic. Articulates. Um, has an articulated look in the water with all the uh, fuzzy ostracurl and the marabou tail. But this is a super cool fly, good fly to use in the summer when damselflies are coming off. Um, so thank you for watching this edition of Aaron at the Fly Desk on the Angler Made YouTube channel. Go catch some fish.